Corey from Monogram Moments Co. And I'm going to show you how to do our designing for our prints. I'm also going to do a video on how to do the second part too. So we're going to start where we download our Silhouette software. This is what I highly recommend you use. It is free, it is crafter friendly, and you do not have to have an actual Silhouette machine to use it. So I've gone to their website, silhouetteamerica.com, and I'm going to go to this right side and click Update Software. Then I'm going to go to the current version and select the, either the Mac or the Windows download. So once you've got it downloaded, this is what your design space is going to look like, except for this. This is to remind me to tell you something later. So right now you'll see we've got a 12 inch by 12 inch design space. We don't want that for our printer. So we've got to go to the right side and select this page panel icon. And where it says size, we're going to change that to letter. Now our design space has gone to 8.5 by 11 inches. And we also want to click that show print border. You have that new line. This is where the printer wants you to stop putting your stuff, so you don't want anything to go past these lines. I keep it even further away from this just to be on the safe side, so I don't waste paper in, in case my printer has even smaller margins than what my silhouette is telling me. So at this point, we are ready to add our image that we have bought from either my Etsy store or another place that you found it. Also, please be aware of copyright issues. I allow you to just pay for the one-time download and you can use that for personal use or commercial use, but some are not as lenient as that. So I'm going to go to open, and once you do buy it from Etsy, you're going to get your image in a zip file, and once you open the zip file, you will get this. So I open that and here's my apple. So right now if I click on it, it is telling me that it is 8.3 inches long by 7 inches wide. Notice that it's not accounting for some of this empty space, so remember that when you're sizing for your, your shirt or whatever you're putting this on. You can change the design very easily. And I always like to have printout 2 so I don't waste my JetPro SS paper. Um, if I can fit two on there, I will. Okay, so now I'm at the point where I want to add text. So I'm going to go to this left side, click the text button, and I'm going to just use my name for now. So if I were to print right now, the font would print as just this red border. So to change the color, I'm going to go to this right side and click the artist palette, and I want green. Now if you didn't want any of these preset colors, you could change this guy around and pick any of those, but I'm going to stick with my green. And you'll notice that the line around it is still red, so I go to the button below it, click on the colored lines, and I have to select that same green. Now if I wanted to change the font, I will click on this A on the right side, and I will put the font that I want. I like that placement there. Now I get my, a lot of my fonts from dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. Um, you have to, if you download any, you have to close your Silhouette Studio and then reopen it um, after you've downloaded one and then it'll show up. So I'm almost ready to print. At this point, since I'm going to be printing in the Jet Pro SS for white shirts or light colored shirts, that's pretty much all I use you've got to flip your image horizontally. So what you'll do, you'll select it all. So I just held my cursor down and dragged the box all the way around it so both my apple and my name are selected. I'm gonna right click and select flip horizontally. And you'll see that now the image is mirrored. Now if I didn't have text on here, I wouldn't need to do this because I don't care if my leaf is on the left or the right side. It's really only when you have text that you want to um, remember to flip horizontally. So now we are at the point where I want to print this and there are a lot of different videos about how you can do your text. Um, you can arch it or you can make it go up and down vertically. 
There's other videos on YouTube on how to do this, so I won't elaborate on those. Just know you have a lot of options. So from this point, I would go to File and Print. And you're just probably going to show up for the first time as setting your default settings. We want to change that to fine printing on plain paper because we want the best quality that we can have when we print these. And then from here, you just select print. And that is all that there is to it. And the next step is to show you actually printing it out, um, cutting it, and with scissors. I just cut with scissors. And then putting it on the shirt. So stay tuned for that. Thanks, guys.